So I guess this is part two of doing the 5EB head. Um, you can see that I've been and marked the bottom of the port. Scored it up quite a lot. Um, in as far as I can reach with my Dremel. I use a Dremel 300i and a carbide cutter on the end of it. So then what I use is a two pack epoxy putty basically. Kind of cut a length off, mold it together till it becomes a putty. And I use that to initially fill the, the floor of the port up um, to about, you know, a few millimetres within the height that I want it. Um, you can see that I try and not let the filler go or the putty go any further than the original casting mark that you took out. So if you kind of remember where that was, that's about as high as your, your putty wants to go up either side. Um, and I just begin building it up. It wants to go up quite steeply from here, from the carburetor, to about 18 mil. So your port height is going to be about 18 mil, um, right the way down through until you get to the turn, which we'll do later on. So it wants to come up from the carburetor and then go quite steeply up, 18 mil, and just keep going on that way. So there we go. So that's just roughly shaping it with the putty, pushing it in there. What I'll do then is mix up JB Weld. Once I've got it to the height I want it, and again this keyed up, and put the JB Weld on the top, which is going to give us kind of a nice, smooth but textured finish on this side of the port. And then we'll flip it over and we'll do the valve throats, and I'll show you exactly how to do those. I'll do some drawings at home to give you an idea of exactly what we've done here um, and how we're going to go about doing it. But there you go. So, rough the port floor up, two pack putty to get your initial height, your initial shape, JB weld over the top to give you a finish. See ya.